Hello, it's your girl Karisha from TravelWithKarisha.com and I am bringing you 10 things not to forget to do before you take your next trip. It's a collaboration with my friend Alicia from Alicia's Adventures and she's bringing you 10 things not to forget to pack before your next trip. Before I get started, please subscribe to my channel so that you can keep up with my travel tips and keep up with me as I head to every country in the world. Now let's hop right into it in no particular order. The first thing not to forget is to check in for your flight. You can normally do this about 24 to 48 hours in advance or sometimes even earlier if you pay a fee. This will make your process at the airport a little bit smoother. If you don't have any bags, you can head straight to um, security. And if you do, of course, you will have to check in your bags, but at least you're all checked in. My tip number two is to download important apps. So these are things like Google Translate so that you can translate languages, Google Maps so that you can find your way around, XE currency so you can determine amounts in your currency and compare it to where you're traveling to. So just in case like you're in the jungle like me thugging it, you and you're buying something, you can you'll have that disposal right at your hands to determine, hey, how much is this? How much is this soda or how much is you know, this piece of fabric that I'm buying in the middle of nowhere. So that way, you know, you just make it easy for yourself. And also transportation apps. So like your Uber and your Lyft and things of that nature or the equivalent transport transportation service in their country. So you want to have all this downloaded so that it's ready to go so that you don't have any issues. Tip number three is to charge all of your devices. So cameras, laptop, cell phones go ahead oh and also backup batteries i have cute little lipstick batteries that i take with me make sure all of those are charged because the you don't want to forget to do that because you just start your trip off you know in a negative tone if you get to the airport and your phone is in charge of course you can charge it there but it's just so much easier when those things are charged and ready to go and the fourth tip thing not to forget is to explore your phone plan so when you get to your destination, what are you doing in regards to your phone plan? Are you, you can call the, your carrier and um, see if they have an international plan for you. Your plan may be to use Wi-Fi. I do that a lot. I cut off all um, data because I don't need it and I just connect to the hotels or restaurants uh, Wi-Fi. You may use a jailbroke phone, a phone that's not attached to a particular carrier or a phone plan. That way, when you get to that country, you could throw their SIM card in there and you're good to go. You may buy a phone and a SIM card in that country, or you may use like a portable um, internet Wi-Fi device that maybe you're not making a lot of calls and you want to use that device solely for the internet. Whatever you decide, explore those options and don't forget to prepare because what you don't want is a high phone bill when you get back home. Number five is to check all of your documents. So we're talking, make sure your passport has enough pages. Do you have your visa? Does your name match your um, your boarding passes, vaccinations? Did you need any of that? So we're looking at times. We're looking at flight times, checking a.m., p.m. I know it sounds so funny, but I know people who have done it arrived at night and their flight was that morning. <coughs> Excuse me, I apologize. I'm just not getting over a cold. Um, you know, things of that nature. Check your time at your hotel. Does the flight correspond with what time you're checking into your hotel, your transportation? What time did you schedule that for? Is it for the correct date? So you just want to go over all of your travel documents, make sure everything makes sense, make sure all your dates are correct, your times, and everything is spelled correctly so that you don't have any last minute surprises. My tip number six is explore your money options. So what are you doing? Are you using a credit card when you get there? Are you getting money out of the ATM? When you get there, um, did you get cash from your bank, which I don't know if I recommend that, but some people, you know, they get, maybe they have a deal that they worked out and they get cash, you know, before they leave. Um, what credit card are you using? Um, do you have all your money with you? If you're taking a certain amount of cash, a couple hundred, do you have that money? Just all of your money options. Just make sure you've kind of thought that process out so that there's no surprises, um, what I mainly do is I either, I use a travel credit card. So you want to make sure do you have all your credit cards. Um, are your credit cards expired? Make sure they're, you know, that they're in a safe place. 
So whatever you're doing with your currency, whether that be using a credit card, getting money out when you get there, going to a currency exchange when you get there, whether you have some foreign currency from a prior trip, but you want to don't forget to think that through. Tip number seven, take care of everything at home. Are your pets looked after? Do you have a babysitter for them? Did you unplug um, certain electronics that don't need to be plugged up? Lamps, if you're going for an ext extended period of time, all of that stuff can be unplugged because all the electric company is doing is getting extra money they don't need. I always do a hold mail depending on how long I'm gone. So all of those things at home that need to be taken care of, different bills paid. If anything is coming due before you leave, you want to make sure you don't forget to look into all of those things because I know someone <laughs> who came home and their electricity was off because they forgot to pay a bill. So just look into all that, make sure all that good stuff is taken care of because we do have to continue our life when we get back home. Number eight is make sure you have travel insurance. Travel insurance is very important, something that we don't want to forget. Um, if you waited till the last minute, that's fine. There are companies that will cover you. So just make sure you have your travel insurance. Everything is ready to go. Take a look at your policy and just don't forget to explore those options. Number nine is just do additional research. So at this point, you're getting ready to leave. You've most likely done all the important research that you needed to do. So at this point, you're just looking at different customs, um, etiquette, things of that nature. Um, maybe you want to look up some words, important terms that you can, excuse me, use to make your trip, trip a little bit easier. Um, like the city layout, transportation, excursions, how far is your hotel from the airport? How far is your hotel from the different excursions that, that you'll be doing? So just last minute research to tie in any loose ends. Research is all, always important and you can never do enough. And my last tip is to prepare to pack. So this is going to Walmart and Target and getting those things that you may need. You're, maybe if you're going to wash, you may need Tide, Lysol, um, wipe, Clorox wipes because I wipe down everything. Um, any type of medications. Maybe you're going to an all-white party. Did you get your outfit for that? Bikini, beach shoes, sunscreen. Uh, mosquito spray so those last minute things that you may forget we're just prepping we're not in the packing stage yet but we're prepping to pack um so just just think about those things do i have enough charges do i do i have everything i need do i need another sd card do i need another bag you know so we're preparing to get packed and my final tip was really a bonus because i gave you 10 is to take care of yourself. It's time to pamper yourself. You're getting ready to go on a vacation, but get your rest. Make sure you're drinking your water because if you're like me, you're gonna be driving a boat, so you're gonna need plenty of water and just immu immune system boosters. So you're eating good. You take. I normally do an airborne. It's up in the air whether those things work or not. But I also I like to give my system some vitamin C and just make sure my system is really strong and in the best possible care because we know the airport is full of germs. So just get you some sleep. I know it may be hard because you're so excited about your trip, but we're just pampering ourselves, getting our nails done, getting your pedicure, getting your brows waxed, just getting really pretty for vacation. So just pamper yourself because you're about to go on vacation, your dream trip. So those are my tips. And now I'm going to hand it over to my girl. I want you to head to her video, Alicia's Adventure. She's going to tell you the things now that you prepared to pack. She's going to tell you 10 things that you need to remember pack for your next vacation. So see you on vacation and I hope you enjoyed my video. Mwah.